let us discuss this reaction so let me first give you the reactant and you have to write down the product so let me frame this question something like this so you have been given this reactant as well as reagent you have to first write down the product so let us write down the product let me see how many of you are able to do this one this is quite easy problem so let me uh, basically make a cover this one okay so i will give you hint this o minus can take one h plus one possibility another possibility it can attack so if we have if you can attack so let us attack and let us try to get what the product you will get okay let me give you the product and then you write down the mechanism okay so go for this so the product is given to you you have to write down the mechanism so product is given to you we have to write down the mechanism now you see let us see try to find what are the changes that has taken place you see one change has taken place this ch3 is attached to this carbon now this ch3 is attached to this carbon and there is a coet i have coet that's okay now ch3 has gone from this side to this side this suggest me one thing i have to break the bond either this bond or this bond and then i have to do manipulation so what can i do if i attack here so let us say if i attack here returns back and then if i make a carbon ion here so if i make a carbon ion here can i do something basically if you see what can i do is if i attack on this carbon if i if i add these two carbon then things is easy if i add these two carbon anyhow what will happen i will have and then if i do hydrolysis or something i will have c double bond o here and then this side i will have a ch3 and if i attack here of oet so i will i, I will have co oet are you getting on so then i will get the product so what i want i want this side co oet co and then ch3 if i add these two thing I will have one, two, three, four, five moment ring. Here I will have CS3. Here I will have CO group if I leave this COET. And here if I have COOET, I will get the product. Are you getting or not? So this is enough hint. Can anybody try? So let me give you a hint. You have to add these two bonds. You have to add these two bonds. One hint. And you have to remove this one, COOET. You have to remove this one. And you have to make COOET this one. C O O E T. You have to add O E T here. So this suggests there will first attack should be here, and there should be a bond breaking here. Are you getting or not? So let us try. Okay. Let me give you the answer. So if O E T minus attacks here, yes, this opens up. So you will have here. everybody done this one and if this o minus comes here and this bond breaks so you will have minus here so you will have a carbon ion here now this carbon ion this is a slightly unusual thing that is happening here this carbon ion if takes this h plus i will have ch here now i will have minus here are you getting or not this is the only a step that is unusual a step so you can say this is unusual we have not discussed this a step unusual a step Okay, let us copy up to this point, and then we will go for the uh, final answer. So you copy up to this point. So if they if they take H plus, you will have minus here. So carbon ion basically shifted. now can you what can you do next now if this carbon ion i need to attach with this carbon so simple 
So what can I do? I can attack this carbon and this carbon and I can leave OET. So let me make something like this. I can rearrange this molecule. So this is same COOET. Here I have a CH3. If I now attack on this carbon and open this one. So I will attach, I will add these two. So you can write it here. So if I have added these two, I will have O minus OET here CH3 COOET. You can remember, you see this is carbon 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So now I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 member ring. So this is connected. So I have made a 5 member ring. Carbon number 4 contains a CS3 group. So I have a carbon number 4 CS3. 5 contains O minus and OET. So O minus and OET. Carbon number, so let us say this is attached to carbon number 1. On carbon number 1 I have COOET. So on carbon number 1 I have COOET. Now if I return back this negative charge here, this goes up. So I will have final this product. So let us copy this one. Okay, if you have copied this one, let me go for the solution once again. I am just say, so what we have to do is, I have been given reactant and we have been given product. Now I have to write down the mechanism. So now I see a change, this CS3 looks like here. And this CO is basically what I have, I have CS3, CO and then CO2. So I have CO in the middle. And this means, this suggests me, if I attack this carbon here, then I have a 5 member ring. Here I have a CS3 group. Here I have CO. And on this carbon I will have COOET. So this is the COET part. So I can from this carbon I can generate COO. And if I attack OET minus, I will have OET. So the first step is simple. I have to attack here, open, return, break this bond. Now if I break this bond, after this one, I am getting this product. Now after this, there is an unusual, uh, unusual thing. Now this hydrogen is basically acidic hydrogen. You see COET. So this hydrogen is acidic. So this can take this H+. plus. Now I have a carbon. Why I am doing this? This is very simple. I need to connect this carbon and this carbon. And this can be done only if I generate a carbon ion here. And to generate this carbon ion, I have only one option. That this carbon ion takes. So you can say this is a rearrangement of carbon ion kind of thing. Basically this is not rearrangement. Rearrangement of carbon ion kind of thing. So in the same molecule I have here carbon ion. This is, uh, this is more acidic hydrogen. So this will take this one. And I can generate a carbon ion here. And now this carbon ion can further attack on this carbon. So in the next step. This carbon ion is attacking on this carbon. And then now things are simple. This opens up. Returns back. So it goes up. Opens up. Returns back. So it goes back. So you will have finally this product. Are you getting or not? So this is the final answer for this question. We'll discuss the next question. Uh, this kind of question writing mechanism is slightly good question. It gives you good grasp on the chemistry. Even though uh, you may not find the direct question from mechanism but to understand the organic chemistry you must have to know uh, what is the mechanism part. We'll discuss the next question.